It's Christmas time. Zenzo, we still have time for the Christmas. Well, for us, it's a Christmas time for all the Excel users. I didn't get you, Zenzo. What do you mean by that? Well, Microsoft Teams has recently released two new Excel functions. Really? Those are really powerful lookup functions, which is called as X lookup and X match. That sounds really interesting. Yes. So let us talk about why this new lookup function is so powerful. You can search your results from top to bottom. So what is so interesting about that, Senzo? Well, you can also search from bottom to top. Hmm. That's interesting. In our previous video, we have seen while constructing the VLOOKUP formula, you have to always pass the last argument as false. But XLOOKUP, you don't have to do that. XLOOKUP will do it for you. You don't have to worry about that. Forgot about declaring the column number in VLOOKUP, but that's not the case in XLOOKUP. You have to just pass the lookup array and the return array. If you are talking about performance and speed, my friends, this has changed the game. Now you can get your results much faster, especially when you're extracting the data from the large data set. And you don't have to worry, it can take the information from right to left, left to right, and that was not the case with the field cup. And the best part, which you are going to love my friends, convert your range into reference. You mean converting the range into entire reference? Yes, Faraz, you heard me right. So let us introduce these new functions xlookup and xmatch to our friends and see in detail how to use them. Yes, for us, I would love to. To get the xlookup, you just select equals to x. Now I can find an xlookup function in my function list tab. Let us have a closer look to the syntax. So basically the lookup value will be the value which you will be giving it to xlookup to search. The lookup array is a column where you will be searching that information. Return array will be the column or the table where you will be extracting that information from. Match mode, this is something really interesting for us. Now if you can see we have different types of match where you can pass an argument and tell xlookup what it has to do when it searches the information. Whether it has to do the exact match, or it has to do the exact match with next greater or next smaller with the wildcard characters as well. And let's look the search mode. We can search the information from bottom to top. So in case you wanted to extract some last record, you can use the last to first to extract that information. So let us compare VLOOKUP with XLOOKUP. So earlier when we used to declare the VLOOKUP function, we have to just select the value which we are looking, the table array, the column index number and false, which was very important to declare it to get the exact match results. But now with the XLOOKUP, just watch my friends equals to x lookup now the lookup value is the employee number comma and these employee number we are looking at in this column and we'll make this range as an absolute reference comma in the return array basically we would like to return the names so we are just going to select the column make sure that the range selection is correct if the range is not correct then you might get an error make it as an absolute because we don't want to move anything now since we know x lookup will take as an exact match i will simply hit enter so it is much faster and much easier to understand let us look few examples so this is the data where we have the sales records for our country and i would just like to pull that entire sales record for a specific country equals to x lookup the lookup value is india and where i'm looking for india i'm looking for india in this column make it as an absolute comma now return array will be the entire records over here. So I just need to extract the information from January to December. So I'll just hit F4 and comma. I will say exact match. No, my friends, we are not going to say exact match because XLOOKUP by default knows that this is an exact match. So we are just simply going to close the parentheses and hit enter. Now this is super amazing, my friends, because of the dynamic arrays, it has spilled information in all the columns. So what it has done, basically it has searched for India, reached to that row because we have selected the entire table. So it has reached to that row and it has pulled that information from there for us. So we got all the sales values for India. Now let's look for again for Saudi Arabia. Wow, 
this is quick you don't just pull the information and give it to you now you can aggregate this function by putting the sum or average also we will use average over here and we'll say average of entire UAE and close parentheses and we will hit enter now you see the average for the UAE is exactly the same 61,340.25 so let's look at another example over here and this time we are going to look with the minus one which is the next smaller item or the exact match so here we have this list of salaries and we have their bonus and the salary range I'll just select the entire range and I will say X lookup and I'll select the lookup value. Yes, this is my lookup value and look this information in this salary range. Okay, and make it as an absolute comma. Now, if you see the orientation of my data, my friends earlier, if I have to do this, I need to keep my lookup value always on the left side and my results on the right side. But since with the X lookup, I don't have to worry about the orientation or the value to be sorted in ascending or descending order it will do it for us now we'll select the bonus that is the information which we would like to retrieve and make it again as an absolute comma the match mode will be the exact match or the next smaller item close parentheses and control enter now if you press control enter the entire column has been filled up with this formula so that's a shortcut way if you are writing an entire formula in a column so let us quickly see whether our formula is correctly working or not. Let's assume somebody is having a salary of 2150, then it should take as at 20%, he will get the bonus. And if somebody is having a salary of 10,000, then he should get a zero. So that's how the match mode will work. You don't have to worry about the sorting of your data. Earlier with the match function, you have to ensure that your data is sorted in ascending or descending order, but XLOOKUP will do that for you. Let's go to another example over here. And if you see this data over here, we have this records over here for the students and their weight. And we have some students, those who are healthy, and we wanted to keep them on a strict diet. Equals to X lookup. This is the weight, comma. This is what we would like to look up and look these weights in this column and make it as an absolute, comma, return array. Return is the ratings and the action we would like to return make it as an absolute again comma and this time we will say exact match or the next large item close parentheses enter now because of the new dynamic array it has spilled that information and i can simply drag this formula down so all my information is updated over here student with 105 is very bad and he needs a strict diet and somebody whose weight is uh, 60 kgs still he's a bad and need a weight gain diet so on an average the weight 82 is an idle weight which will give you good record great so let us look at another example over here so in this data basically we would like to extract this information based on their header name so here we have uh, like employee name so we would like to look, match that column name and we would like to pull that information but here if you see we have that challenge of basic salary written over here and we have basic written over here transportation and transport hra and housing so it was not feasible to do with the standard vlookup but xlookup has solved all that issues so let me quickly show it to you equals to xlookup the lookup value is my employee id and i'm going to make it as an absolute comma the lookup array yes i will always be looking in this column and make that column as an absolute comma now in place of return array my friends we are not going to simply just go and select this one no because it will spill the entire information let me show it to you you see it has spilled the information for sarah female this is not we needed so to handle this we are going to use the xlookup inside the xlookup yes that's the beauty of xlookup my friends i'll just simply paste that formula and now that return array i'm going to cancel it and say that xlookup and the lookup value this time is my employee name where I'm going to press F4 two time to make the row as an absolute comma the lookup array the lookup array will be the headings which we are looking employee name gender date basic salary great and make it as an absolute reference again comma and now the return array this is the information which we are looking 
so we are looking this information from this table and we'll make it as an absolute again comma the match mode i will just quickly talk about the match mode again in this example and i'll simply say yes yes there's a correction so we got sarah and now when we drag it over here we got an error the why because we have to pass the match mode argument the match mode argument should say that it should be equal to basic or something similar to basic that is greater than so we will edit our formula over here and we are going to say the match mode for the internal lookup array comma and we will say it as exact match or the next larger item enter so we got the basic transportation and housing information over here wow yes and so it's wow i know earlier when we used to do this stuff it was not so easy so let's change the basic salary to gender and we got the information of gender so this is the new index match so now if you wanted to do the index match do it at this way you don't need to declare the column number it will just simply do the job for you the most important thing you should correctly select the lookup array and the table array which you are extracting the information let us look at another example now in this one we have our information in the row wise and we will have our information in column so this is something which we used to do it with hlookup so with xlookup you can even get that information so here if you see so we have this employee number over here which is 1101 and we are going to look at in the employee id range and when the employee id range it has search we have nest again in xlookup function saying that now search the basic salary column so the for the basic salary column we have given the lookup range which is e5 to h5 so we are asking excel to search between this range then i have selected my return array and i have not selected any match mode or search mode because i know very well by data is an exact match so when we hit enter we got this basic salary correctly over here now let's change it to a date we have to format it in a proper date value so that's proper date over here let's assume if we enter gender if we see our formula is broken now the reason why because it is purely about the range my range have been selected from the date not from the gender and even the table array if i select the table array you expect that it will work no it will break so you have to make sure that you select the correct range if i'll select the correct range over here enter so now this is working fine so make sure that you handle the range correctly if the range are not correctly been set then you might of having an error now you must be thinking that this is all about xlookup no my friends now what i'm going to show it to you this is really amazing stuff let us go back to our sheet example number one so this is the best part of xlookup you can change your range into a reference yes this was possible with the offset and rows function but now with xlookup you can do the same way let us assume that you would like to extract the information from january to february so it can pull that information for you and it can give it for you and to do that we have to earlier write an offset statement and all those stuff that was really difficult to do but xlookup now just watch it equals to xlookup and the lookup value is january comma and where i'm looking i'm looking up in this columns make it as an absolute reference comma now my return array will be again this range great and i'll make it as an absolute and close parentheses enter so now what we are going to do is just simply going to copy this formula and again we'll go to edit now end of our function we are just going to add a colon by adding colon we are saying that okay this is from this range to this range and this can be done with offset index and there are indirect function even uh, with the choose function also you can do it end of the formula if you apply colon you can join that range and we'll paste our formula and here the reference we are just going to change it from b19 to b20 so as soon as we hit enter now you see we got that information now if we are going to sum this information again now if we sum this up let's sum and enter yes no problem my friend 
let's see the sales from January to April for all the countries. So we got the correct information. Let us evaluate the formula and see how it works. So let us put the evaluate. It looks for the January. Now if you see that it has converted into this range. This is what we were talking about. And now again it has checked for the April and it's given the range and it has given the entire range which is C4 to F12. And we'll hit evaluate again and we got the answer over here. Let's look for June. Wonderful. It's working great. August and December and let us change it from May to December. It will work seamlessly. So let us try one more example my friends. So we have filtered out the information from May to December. Let's add another filter by adding it by the country. So it should give us only for that specific country the sum from May to December. So let's do it with XLOOKUP. E equals to XLOOKUP. The lookup value is UAE. And we are going to look up the UAE in this country's column. Make it as an absolute reference. Comma. Return array, we cannot give the entire row because it will spill out the entire row information. But we have to again filter it out with XLOOKUP saying that look up the value from me and look up column is this column yes this is the one from january to december make it as an absolute comma in return array we can select the entire table of our sales record and close parentheses enter wonderful so it has went to that record search uae and then it has pulled the information for the may now that range has to be get extended. Now watch it. We are going to select this formula what we have written. Copy. Again making a colon. We are going to generate that range. And now instead of B19 we are going to say B20. Because we wanted to search till December. Now when we will hit enter. Boom. It has spilled the information. New dynamic arrays. Those are really amazing my friends. Now I can just simply say it as an average average again yes you can close the parentheses my friend enter so we got the average let us change the country wow this is so dynamic my friends and let us change the month over here to july to december this is going insane now in case if i choose the upper limit January then it will take the information from January to July so you don't have to worry XLOOKUP will handle that to handle the drop down you can just set the validation for the upper and the lower limit so the user doesn't enter any incorrect value but just to show it to you over here my friends I have not put any validations and to show you that how it will work and if you are going to talk about the X match my friends X match is exactly like a match function it will check the lookup value this is my lookup value column yes this is my column make it as an absolute comma and in place of getting that minus one or zero we are getting that same options over here so you don't have to worry about sorting of your data so i'll just simply close parentheses enter i got the exact match so saudi arabia is in position number two so that's over here so that's all about x lookup and x match it is not limited here only my friends, I am still exploring this new function. Currently it is only available for Office Insiders and soon it will be rolled out to Office 365 users. XLOOKUP is really a game changer for all the lookup function now. It is easiest, best and fast. We hope you have enjoyed this video and the soft copy of this file will be available on the Facebook group page and the link is in the below video description. With this new XLOOKUP and XMATCH function, Microsoft team did a great job by giving us the simplified and the powerful lookup function. Please do share your feedbacks and thoughts in the below video comment section and we would love to hear from you. Now, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and make sure that you hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button for the latest updates. Signing off for the day. See you soon. Happy learning and bye.